All right, boys and girls, this is the 14 inch wood cutting bandsaw that I modified over the weekend by putting a, another shaft and set of pulleys on it. We've slowed the uh, belt speed down or the band speed. All of these small saws, the band speed was approximately a thousand foot per minute, which worked well on wood and would cut aluminum, but when you came down to cutting mild steel, it, uh, it burned the teeth off the blade and didn't really accomplish too much. So I've slowed it down from a thousand foot per minute to somewhere in the range of 200 foot per minute. And uh, we're going to demonstrate here, we're going to cut some aluminum, we're going to cut some mild steel. And uh, it's kind of a noisy little devil as it runs. I've got a ten tooth bimetal blade on there that I just purchased and everything's buttoned up so without too much further ado I'm going to turn it on and I'll cut the uh, one eighth steel first and then I'll cut this piece at somewhere between three sixteenths and a quarter and then we'll cut the aluminum. I had modified my own saw about four years ago and my own saw runs considerably faster than this. Mine runs at about 280 foot per minute blade speed and you can notice that difference. This cuts noticeably slower than mine but probably the blades will last longer at the lower speed. So here we go. So there we have it, very clearly cutting the 1 8 steel without too much of a grunt. Now we'll uh, give it a little something more difficult. We'll cut this somewhere between 3 16th and quarter inch steel. So there you have it, it's quite easily cut the quarter inch steel. Now I'm not really pressing hard on this, it would cut faster if I pressed harder. You can press hard enough to make the belt slip, but that's not what this is about. Here we are, we're going to cut a piece of what appears to be about 5 sixteenths aluminum. So there we go, it's handled the aluminum without any problem. Now on my saw that I converted, you can actually lift this fence and cut stuff about 5 inches thick. Um, the thickest I've ever cut is 3 inch aluminum. It does cut it, doesn't cut it real fast, but it's light years ahead of uh, cutting it with a bandsaw. So basically what we've got here, we paid uh, I believe $150 for this whole bandsaw on the buy and sell ads that we get in the newspaper and it cost me probably forty dollars for the 
belts, bearings, and two new V-belts. But when you consider that, you know, for under $200, the man has got a fairly reasonable metal cutting bandsaw that will suit his needs, I think it's a good conversion. So that's all I wanted to show you. Thanks for looking.